Hello! Did you miss me? Because I certainly, certainly missed you. It's been so long since I grabbed my camera and just sat to share with you what I've been thinking, where I've been, what I've been up to, and so I'm really, really, really excited that we get to do this again. And that we get to do this again in a new year. Happy 2023 and I pray that this year is nothing short of amazing and you get every prayer that is a desire of your heart that has come from delighting yourself in the Lord. Now if you're new to this channel and you're thinking, who is this girl? What is she all about? My name is Mbumi K. Mbonane and I am a speaker and a coach. My life's work, my life's purpose, the mission that is attached or tied to my life is to really help multi-passionate professionals like myself get crystal clear on their purpose so that they can pivot into fulfilling careers with more impact and more income without needing a new qualification. Today, I want to share with you the one and only goal that I have for 2023. Now, if you've been around for a while, you know that when the year began in 2022, I reviewed my 2021 and I shared with you some amazing things that I accomplished, what the big thing was on my birthday, and then I planned, or I shared with you what my plans and my goals were for 2022. This year, I'll do the same thing, but I'm not going to give you any elaborate thing because I've literally just got one goal and here's where this goal came about right so i had my friends over i think it was towards was it november it must have been november when two of my very good friends came to my house and we ha i have a pack of cards that you can like ask your friends or ask yourself or ask your family members to reflect on and think deeply about one of my friends picked up a card and asked me this question i, I jotted it down on my notebook the question was if you were to change one thing about yourself, what would it be? And I know a lot of people then get tempted, whenever they ask this question, they get tempted to say, no, I believe that I'm wonderful and fearfully made. There's nothing I would change about myself. I'm content. But I knew exactly what it was I wanted to change about myself. And again, I wrote that down. And this is what my response was. I want to change my tendency to self-sabotage, not following through on brilliant ideas I have. You know, when I gave this response, it was because I had really reflected on some of the most amazing ideas I've had, just in, in the things I want to do in my business, the things that I wanted to do in corporate, or the things that I want to do in my relationships. I've always got these brilliant ideas, but you know what happens? I self-sabotage. I don't follow through. And this has come at a, a loss of a lot of things, a loss of satisfaction because I haven't done the thing that I wanted, a loss of opportunity because I didn't strike the iron while it was still hot. And I realized, Uti Man, I'm so much further than where I can be in life not because opportunities aren't there, not because I'm not smart enough, it's just because I don't do all the things that I want to do. And listen to me very clearly, I'm not saying that we should execute all the ideas that we have, no, 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 no. But there are things that I know, which, you know, doing this will move the dial. Doing this will catapult whatever I have going on, but I just don't do it. And in that way, I self-sabotage. And so I sat with God and I said, Lord, what are my goals? And God said to me, there are so many things you still haven't done that were on your mind. How about revisiting those? And here's the problem. I think a lot of times people don't actually accomplish the goals that they have because every year they're starting over. New year, new me. Eh, what about the goal that you had last year, that you dropped in April, and you knew it was good for you, but you didn't continue. There's a whole lot of things that actually stand in the way of us not accomplishing the things we want. And the biggest one is that we want to reinvent ourselves every year. Every year, new me. When are we going to finish? How many versions? Okay, let me ask. 
how many versions of yourself are you on now and how many of those versions are actually complete oh don't tell me don't tell me i don't want to know but let me tell you what my one and only goal for the year is and my goal is found in the book of second corinthians chapter 8 I'll first read it in the New King James Version, all right? This verse 10 and verse 11. And it says, this is Paul writing to the Corinthian church. It says, and in this I give advice. It is to your advantage not only to be doing what you began and were desiring to do a year ago, but now you also must complete the doing of it that as there was a readiness to desire it so there also may be a completion of what you have paul is giving advice to the corinthians church maybe let me give some context and background right so paul is writing a letter to the corinthians church and here's the lovely thing about this church this church was rich rich in a lot of things they were rich in faith they were rich in speech they were rich in knowledge they were rich in all diligence and they were even rich in the love for missionary workers which were Paul and Titus, right? So this church is very rich. And Paul is starting off the letter by saying to them, Hey, I don't know if you know about some of the other churches, some of the members of the churches in Macedonia. These churches are, compared to you, very poor. They don't have much. But when they heard about how the other members of the church in Judea are so impoverished, they decided to give. So they collected money and they gave to these churches, even when this was money that they needed for themselves. And when we weren't comfortable with taking this money from them, they begged us to take the money just so that the other churches can also get some facilitation or get some help. And now Paul is writing to the Church of Corinth to say, Nina, you guys have got so much you're actually rich and you know we know that you love us we know that you love the work because a year ago you started collecting money and i don't know what happened to that goal i don't know what happened to that plan i don't know what happened to that action because it just ceased it came to a stop so my advice to you is because you're so rich in all these other things and there's one thing you're, you're poor in, please just stop there. And one thing the Church of Corinth was poor in was follow through, was completion. They, they did everything else right. They had everything else, but they were just poor in completing. And so he says to them, my advice to you guys is that it's, it's just, it's your advantage that you not just continue doing what you began, but actually complete it a year ago you know what it is you wanted i've got goals that I'm, and it's little goals i think big goals i'm good at but these little things that i know will help i haven't been really great in completing and so i guess i was challenged because i realized that i'm good in a lot of things i'm rich in a lot of things and i think even the things that the corinthian church was good at faith tick speech tick Knowledge tick, the K in Bumi K actually stands for knowledge. <laughs> Diligence tick, love tick. But the problem is follow through. Follow through. I just don't follow through on some of the ideas that I have. And I kick myself every time I'm just like, Bumi, come on. Come on. And it's not the big things that trip us over, it's the little things. The little things that are on our way that trick us over and that trip us over. And I don't want to be caught in that anymore. In fact, I want to read the same verse or verse 11 in the clear word translation of the clear word version. And it says, why not finish what you began? This time, be as eager and willing to finish the project as you were before. And listen to what it says. Begin with the funds you have on hand and go on from there. So there's no expectation for me to pull rabbits out of hats or to be a magician or to suddenly come up with something that I don't have. No, 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 no. It's what do I have in my hand? What is at my disposal? What am I good at? 
Because using those things starting from there and then actually executing and completing my project, that is what will get me far. And so that is my goal for the year, is to finish the things that I start. And if you are like me and you're just like, uh oh, uh, you're not just talking about yourself, because that's what my friend said, right? After I responded, he said, yo, you're right, actually. There are things that I haven't completed as well that I know would put me in good stead. So if this is a challenge, even for you, three things I want you to pick up from this. Number one is, it is not enough to desire a thing. See to its completion. So this thing that we do of putting a vision board on the wall, manifesting, putting things out into the universe, lighting a candle, 11, 11. My face. <laughs> My friends, ah, come on. It's not enough to just desire a thing. If you're not going to do the work and you're not going to complete the work, please, it's not, not this year. This year we are completing the things that we start. Number two, have an eagerness and willingness to finish. Yo, you guys, you know what? We have energy. Yo, going to the gym. Hey, bro, in the gym, 200 people. Yeah. Yeah, bo, I step a combo. I went an easy level. Lifting 200 people in the gym. April, 100 people in the gym. September, 50 people in the gym. Now, Courtney, if you're one of those people, you're lucky. November, five people in the gym. <laughs> I'm just giving this illustration to say the eagerness that we start with. My prayer for you. My prayer for me is that it's sustained, right? And it's not just because of we were taken by the wind of New Year's resolution or 2023. I really hope that our eagerness is sustained. That we choose to do the things that the version of ourselves who are alert enough to say, this is good for me and I'm going to pursue it. I just want us to follow through on those decisions we made when we were sober of those decisions we made when we were in the mood, in the spirit. I really, really want us to have sustained eagerness and a willingness. What willingness suggests is that, of course you'll be fatigued as time goes on. Of course there'll be days where you don't want to be disciplined, where you don't want to do anything, where you just want to sit in bed the whole time. There'll be days where you really don't want anything. You want to munch on chips and watch television. There'll be days where we really don't want to do anything. But on those days, I pray that you have the willingness to say, okay, I'll honor the version of me that thought that this was a good idea. In fact, I'll honor the version of me that knew that this was good for me and I'll get results from it. That's what I want us to do, right? Have the, have the eagerness and the willingness. And finally, begin with the resources you have on hand and go on from there in 2023 i don't want to hear excuses i don't have the money i don't have the time i don't have the connections ah uh -uh. you don't have the things you don't want to have honestly if if something is important enough to you if something is important enough for you you will be creative you will be creative. I really think you can pay for the things you can't afford using your creativity. There's no way in 2023 you can't do anything. You've got resources. You've got this. You've got this. You've got this. You've got years of experience. This, this, I, I come on to who does not have anything. There isn't a single person who's got nothing. Nothing. How to God would be unfair nothing you're not that person i'm not talking to people who've got nothing in their hands and so really those are the three things i want you to remember with this goal of completing the things that you said you're going to do it's not enough to desire a thing see to its completion number two have an eagerness and willingness to finish and number three begin with the resources you have on hand and go on from there What's beneficial to you? I just want us to finish the things we start. I want to complete the things that I start. And if this is you, join me. 
I'd like to hear in the comments whether or not I was speaking to you, right? And, and if you can, give me some goals that you wrote down at the end of last year, the beginning of the year, so that I can hold you accountable. in Easter, before you start enjoying your fish curry, I can say, sorry, how far are you? Have you been completing your daily tasks? Are you close to completing your quarterly task? And then June, when you want to sit in the in the in the blanket or sleep in the blankets and not go to gym, you say, ah, hello, remember, remember you said, but I do want to hold you accountable. Is all I'm trying to say, right? So if you've got goals, put them in there so that we can hold each other accountable. But if this resonated and spoke to you, say, yo, yeah, yeah, no, 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 you came for me, you came for my neck. So I can know as well if this was beneficial to anybody. This year, I plan to take you along to my escapades as a full-time purpose practitioner. So there'll be vlogs on this channel. And maybe I should start with a vlog of my house tour. <laughs> there will be these sit-down conversations. I'll be sharing some clips from my speaking engagements. I'll be inviting you to work with me. Hey, guningi, guningi, but we can do it. We can do it. All right. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Somehow it helps with the algorithm. Hey, I've been out of practice for so long. I must retrain myself. All these YouTube things. Subscribe, like, comment, share. But please do. If you want to share this with your neighbor or with your family members, your friends, your colleagues, you thought this was beneficial, and it's something that can help them as well. Please don't be selfish. Please share this video. Share it on your WhatsApp status, on your Instagram story, on your Twitter, everywhere. Just share. Let's get this message across. Let's all finish the things that we start. All right, do we have a deal? I'll tell you how I'm doing as well so you can hold me accountable. But otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye.